Are there foreclosures coming? Yes. Have foreclosures just started? Yes. Is it gonna fundamentally change the market? I don't think so. But is it gonna create deals for you as an investor? Absolutely, and I'd like to share a story right now about one that we're experiencing personally. So we're looking for a lot in the Everett area where we can build a duplex in the backyard with its current new zoning that's came into effect. We've been hunting through, we've been door knocking, we've been cold calling, we've been sending letters. For those of you that don't know, Everett's located at the north end of the Seattle Metro. And we got a bunch of leads, we're sifting through our leads, and one of the leads really raised their hand and said, you know what, we have to do something. When a seller starts to indicate that they have to do something, that's when you need to start really digging into why do you have to do something? What's important about right now? What we came to find out with this particular example was this person has not been employed since COVID. They've had a couple odd jobs off and on, but the reality is, is their financial system is fundamentally changing. They have massive equity inside of their home, but what's happening is they're starting to get behind. The foreclosure process has started. So we're starting to see some of this. So we asked them, well, when do you need to move? When do you need to move by? Where do you need to go? Because we're trying to dig to figure out price, timing, and motivation like we've talked about before. And we're trying to understand how to best structure an offer in order to serve their needs and get a good deal. So we believe in that win-win balance whenever we're putting one together. With this particular seller, what happened was the text messaging started going just through the roof. It started shooting up and just boom, boom, boom. And you could feel the, the urgency and the emotion coming out of it. So finally, I said to the seller, I picked up the phone, I called him, I scheduled the appointment. I said, what do you want? And he said, I want 530,000 because that's what Zillow said my home is worth. That's what Redfin says my home is worth. That's what another agent says my home is worth. I said, okay, how far are you behind? And he said, I am currently getting a forbearance. I said, okay, how long can you make it? And he said, well, we need to sell it now. I said, okay, can you wait if you were to put it on the market for 530,000 through the market time, you know, let's just say that's 20 days and then another 45 days in order to obtain a sale. He said, you know, that might be too long. I said, do you have the 10 to 20 grand to get your property ready to put it on the market? He said, no, I don't. I said, sir, I'd like to offer you a bit less than what you were asking, but I'd like to make a fair offer to you and I'd like to offer 475,000. At that point, what he said was he stepped back and said, no, it's not enough. This isn't gonna work. It's not enough money. And then he pulls his phone out and he starts playing with his phone. When he was playing with his phone, I instantly just zipped the lip, sat back and let him work through the numbers. He needs a certain amount of money to move. And we know it would cost money to rehab the property. We know it would take market time. So basically what we ended up settling on was this. We ended up settling on $490,000, a 15 day inspection, two months worth of uh, rent back with this property. And after five days, we're gonna give them a thousand dollars non-refundable. It's not a smoking deal, but it's a good enough deal for us because we're not trying to buy the house for a deal. We're trying to build a duplex in the back behind the house. So this is a great deal for us. He's taking a little bit off of the market value because of the sheer convenience, because of the rent back, because we're giving a little money, because we're taking it as is. What the moral of the story and what becomes the most important when we're putting these deals together is you need to understand where they're coming from, why they're doing it, and then what they need. So you can structure your offer to match what they need and still get a decent deal. Once again, we got a decent deal. We're not cutting a fat hog. He's taking a little off the price because we're built an offer that matched his situation. As the market continues, you're just gonna see more of these foreclosures happen. That's okay, but I want you to treat them, one, like humans, two, don't be greedy, and three, ask amazing questions so we can figure out how to put the deals together with them. Thanks for watching today. Hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Hey, YouTube recommended you watch this video right here. 